Apple announced iOS 17, its next major update for the iPhone during its WWDC keynote. The next major overhaul to the iPhone software is all about more. More personalization, more customizable features, more mindfulness, more intuitiveness, but less ducking autocorrect. Kinda. Here's all the exciting features and improvements coming with iOS 17. Before we jump into the list, I should mention that iOS 17 will be out in full this fall and will work on the iPhone XS, XR, and newer, and that includes the 2020 iPhone SE. One of the biggest additions in iOS 17 is when your iPhone isn't in your hand and when your phone is on its side while MagSafe charging. You get a full new screen experience with glanceable information. The feature is called Standby and mimics what many smart home devices can do like the Amazon Echo Show. The new screen shows the time, photos, widgets, and live activities, nearly all of which can be personalized. For example, you can see the weather, your Apple Home smart controls, or your favorite third-party widgets. And with the support for live activities, Standby can also show the score of a sporting event or the status of a food delivery. Last year, we got customizable lock screens in iOS 16. This year, iOS 17 has something similar for your iPhone's contact cards to make them more eye-catching. Contact posters are beautiful treatments for your contact photos and emoji paired with slick looking fonts that show up when you get a call or other services where you communicate and share. You can customize your contact poster similar to how you can personalize your lock screen iOS 17 also brings an overhaul to AirDrop. Now, you just need to bring your iPhone close to someone else's to share a contact poster, photos, videos, or kick off a shared activity like using SharePlay. And of course, being Apple, there's a clever marketing name for sharing your contact poster with someone new. It's called Name Drop. You can choose what contact info is shared and Name Drop works between iPhones or with an Apple Watch too. It kind of reminds me of the bump contact share feature in the early days of the iPhone. In iOS 17, autocorrect will become more intelligent and can fix more grammatical mistakes. Also, reverting words back to what you type is even easier. And apparently, apparently autocorrect will learn and let you use curse words. Duck yeah iOS 17 also brings a new Apple app called Journal which creates personalized suggestions to inspire writing. Now these suggestions are curated from your information on your iPhone, like photos, location, music, and even workouts. The journal app gives you the option to select a moment like morning visit, ocean beach, and get to writing. Yay, mindfulness. Then there's a new phone tool in iOS 17 called Live Voicemail. And it kind of feels like the days of answering machines when my dad would screen a call. So when you receive a call, you'll see a live transcription in real time as the caller records the message. The idea being that you can quickly identify a robocall and hang up or decide to take the call from a friend or family member. Now live voicemail seems identical to the call screen on Google Pixel phones, which is a good thing. Apple is expanding and simplifying its location sharing via messages with a new feature called check-in. It lets a loved one know you made it back home safely. Now, whether you're walking home after dark or going for an early morning run, you can start a check-in with a family member or friend. Check-in automatically detects when you're home and lets your friend know. But if something unexpected happens along the way, it can recognize that you're not near your destination and check in with you. And if you don't respond, check in can automatically share your current location, the route you took, your iPhone's battery level and cell service status, all of which is end to end encrypted. But I really can't wait for check in to make it into the cold opening for an episode of Law & Order SVU. <laughs> So, Messages gets a bunch of fixes and additions. There's now transcription for audio messages, so if you're someone who has friends or family members who sends you an audio message, you'll be able to read a transcription of the recording right in the message thread. There's also a new catch-up arrow in Messages. 
It sits in the top right corner of your conversation and lets you jump to the first message you haven't read. Now, this could be a killer feature for managing group chats. iMessage Stickers gets a new drawer to bring all the stickers you've used into one place. And now, emoji are stickers. You can peel and stick an emoji sticker to a message bubble and even rotate it and resize it. Last year in iOS 16, Apple introduced the ability to lift a subject from the background of a photo as part of visual lookup. With iOS 17, you could turn a photo subject into a sticker. The sticker drawer also has a live stickers tab that lets you create a sticker animation, aka a GIF, from a live photo. Stickers can be accessed system-wide in things like tapback, markup, and in third-party apps. As is typical with WWDC, there are a lot more additions and improvements to iOS than Apple showed during the keynote. Some notable highlights include triggering Siri by just saying Siri instead of, hey Siri, download offline maps in the Maps app, new profiles for Safari and your passwords, auto retrieval for one-time verification codes in the Mail app, and interactive widgets, which was featured in depth during the iPad OS portion. And all of that was before they even showed off that Apple AR headset with the weird eyes. But now I wanna hear from you guys. What was your favorite iOS 17 feature? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna know more about Apple and everything announced at WWDC, please make sure you're subscribed to CNET's YouTube channel. Later.